Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're going to do another one of these, you know, top 10 sort of tier lists, uh, because Dokkan is still super dead, and <laughs> your boy had to kind of fill in some gaps here, you know, I, I gotta do something besides rainbow bad units from four years ago, right? <laughs> so, because we still have a couple of days until um, the anniversary uh, live stream, uh, which I believe is on the 30th. Um, I figured I'd probably do a few of the categories here. Um, we'll start with Realm of Gods. Because Realm of Gods, you know, it's funny. Upon, like, actually making this top 10, I was like, oh, I, you know, Realm of Gods doesn't feel quite as good as I thought. Like, you know, it actually could, I think you... Uh, I'm, I'm, okay, so I'm saying, like, at the top, right? At the very, very top. Um, Realm of Gods, I think, could use some new big-time, like, big-time units. Um, and they're about to get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy because when we see who's in the number one and two spot and then you know who's probably about to be in the number one two and two spot uh in a couple of days when you know the new gogeta blue and vegeto blue come out it's gonna be very interesting uh so we start out with the uh, easy physical goku black um again it's he's difficult to rank because on jp he's really good and then on global he's like stupidly op you know with his 18,000 attacks that it's just he's super super nuts um over on global right um really strong unit obviously he does get a lot stronger against the goku family category enemy but they're not exactly few and far between right you encounter goku category family enemies all the time so i do like goku black in that 10 spot um next we have eza merge samasu um i do really like eza merge samasu a lot um i feel like he works very well in this team uh, hmm, I wonder, LR Goku Black, maybe, because I don't have LR Goku Black in the top 10, I almost wonder if I should, would I consider him better than Murd Zamasu? Probably, actually, hmm, I think I probably should put LR Goku Black, you know, I think I might switch up on the fly here, and I think I'm actually gonna banish... Physical Goku Black. Because um, I'm thinking about like how good they both are offensively and defensively. Goku Black has that really good link set, LR Goku Black. Um, obviously, they're able to hit really, really hard. You know, they're capable of getting into like the 5 million range depending upon support and, you know, uh, big bad bosses and stuff like that. But their defense isn't the greatest, but they would work really well with Tech Merge Zamasu. So I think we're going to do this. I'm going to actually... Bump physical Goku Black off of there. I'm going to swap merge Zamasu to 10. Then we're going to put LR Goku Black and Zamasu. I really should have had them on here. That, that's a mistake. But um, obviously, LR Goku Black and Zamasu, they're a unit that has, I think, aged a little bit. But when you consider the fact that they do have the healing, their attack buff should be pretty easy to build up quickly. You know, they do give defense on their super attack. Um, it's not the greatest, right, if you're not getting their 18 key super attacks, but, you know, you're able to basically stack it three times so their defense can be, like, very, very solid. Uh, they aren't a number of teams, so I, I probably would, you know, adjust it and kind of have it like that. Let me see. And then we have Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken, Goku. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to put Blue, Kaioken, Goku at nine. So, LR, Goku, Black, and Zawasu. Okay, this is embarrassing, but LR, Goku, Black, and Zawasu. It's like, oh, wait, I, I kind of didn't even really look at them too much. And now it's like, well, yeah, I probably would consider them over Blue Cow King Goku also. Um, so Blue Cow King Goku is super good. He is mainly just damage, though. Um, you know, he is capable of getting around 100k defense, which is good. Um, you know, he does greatly stack attack, which is really good. He has a really good link set. He's just a strong unit, but I, I almost would say he's almost sort of boring. Like, he's just, like, strong, right? Like, with a really good link set. Um, the thing that hurts him as of right now is that on global, um, this guy's EZA is not there. And then on JP, JP does not have the SDR Super Saiyan Blue Kao Ken Goku, who sort of is his best friend. So neither version as, as of right now can really utilize the two blue Gokus to their, you know, best potential. Um, okay. So next we have the blue Goku and blue Vegeta. Um, I, I don't really know that it matters, uh, in what order I put these two. Oh, I forgot them. Oh no. Ah! Oh, because they're the global exclusives and I forgot to put them on. Oh. All right, guys. So I made some adjustments. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. So so uh, upon further review, Blue Cow King Goku, again, he's good, but he is boring. Kind of like readjust him. I'll probably ha have him at like the nine spot 
or, or excuse me, uh, Blue Cow can go quite have him at like 11 or 12-ish. Um, because Transforming Vegeta also just barely missed the cut. He's right there. Um, I probably would put Blue Cow can Goku above Transforming Vegeta, I think. Um, I I'd have to, to actually spend more time, like, really thinking about that one. But I, I think, yeah, th this is what we're going to go with. LR Goku Black and Zamasu at 8. Uh, Easy A Merge Zamasu 9. Easy A Physical Goku Black at 10. And then we got the Blue Vegeta and Blue Goku at 7 and 6. Um, I've talked about these guys extensively with their stacking attack and defense. The ability to get 30% attack from tech spheres for Vegeta. Physical spheres for Goku is a lot. They have a solid link set. Again, they're stacking. They're on tons of teams. These two global uh, only units right now, this Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta, are outstanding. And what's crazy is I do consider them the best Blue Goku and the best Blue Vegeta in the game at this moment. I do think this guy is better than the Easy A uh, physical, or excuse me, the Easy A uh, AGL Blue Cow can Goku. Um, and then I do think this guy is better than uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta. I mean, Evolution Blue Vegeta is another character uh, who is not on here who really could be. Um, it's just like easy A's, like really kind of throw things into to chaos, right? Um, I mean, maybe you could put them above LR, Goku Black, and Zamasu. I don't know. It's like LR, Goku Black, and Zamasu, like they're still so good. Like outside of the legendary Goku event where obviously they just can't survive in there. Their defense is not nearly high enough. Um, but even in Super Battle World with their healing, their good links, you're able to get big bad bosses. They certainly can be a good unit in some of those Super Battle World stages. So I do kind of, I like this right here, this, this six, the, the top five is way easier. Um, but like, you know, from spots like six to like, I don't know, like 14 or something like that, maybe it's a bit closer. Like, you know, where would Int UI Goku come into here? Jiren, LR Beerus and Whis, you know, Tech, uh, Beerus, you know, I do like Tech Beerus and LR Beerus and Whis, but they're very limited in my eyes. Um, all right. So next we're going to go AGL Zamasu right here. Um, I have really come around strong on AGL Zamasu. Um, as time has gone on, I've just really, really begun to like him more and more and more. Um, in particular, with two very... Well, actually, there's three very powerful units you could pop onto the team alongside him, which makes it so he's not going to take damage, pretty much. SCR Goku Black, um, Gowasu and Zamasu, or Easy A Tech Merge Zamasu. You get any of those three units next to Zamasu, and his tanking abilities are going to be very, very good. He is going to be able to hold his own easily. So um, I do really like that AGL Zamasu. Plus, if you do have him next to Tech Merge Zamasu, once you get into this form right here, this boy is putting up insane amounts of damage. He's very strong. Really, the only negative with him, I think, is the second form is a bit too weak offensively and defensively. I think if they had made him a bit more stronger offensively or a bit more stronger defensively, um, he would have been a little bit better off, right? Uh, okay. So next, we are going to go ahead and put in our boy Blue Gogeta, the transforming Super Saiyan slash Blue Gogeta right there. Um, he, of course, is a really, really good unit. I saw some people disagree with my high ranking of him previously. Like, I, I do sort of understand it, but, like, when you go through everything, you know, he has good attack and defense. Uh, his leader skill is amazing. Effective against all types. The medium chance of dodging isn't the best before he transforms. 25% is not crazy. Don't forget he does have the 160% 12p multiplier. Um, he's one of, what, four units that have that? Tech Vegito Blue, SCR Rose Goku Black. Um, what is it? Like N Cell Jr. and then Blue Kochita. It's so stupid. <laughs> this random Cell Jr. is up there with all these ridiculous fusions and then Goku Black and stuff like that. It's nuts. Just absolutely nuts, right? Um, of course, he has a great link set. Then when he transforms, I mean, it's just get get out of his way. 50% chance to dodge and 100% chance to crit. I mean, 100% chance to crit. I shudder. Is, like, the LR Blue Gogeta from the 5 anniversary, is he going to be a guaranteed crit unit? Because, I mean, if he is, that is going to just be something special. That's going to be something different. Uh, Gogeta is going to be ferocious if he manages to get that. Um, now this blue form, unfortunately, you're not going to see, very, like, Dokkan events, you'll see it, Goku event, you'll see it, Super Battle Road, it's very rare, you're going to see this, Battlefield, you're probably never going to see this as well, um, and Easy 8 you're probably also not really going to see this, uh, so, you know, it's kind of like, half of the time you'll see him, half of the time you won't, 
Uh, then next we have uh, LR Vegito Blue, another unit who I just, uh, I don't know. I, like, maybe people would think this guy's rated too highly here. I just, I, everywhere. Like, when if you try and about so think of, like, all these, all these events in the game, right? Battlefield. He's amazing. His defense, the defensive stacking, the damage, the good link set, the easy super attacks. He's incredible. Super Battle Road. His ridiculously high defense, good links, easy to super, good damage. He's great for Super Battle Road. Legendary Goku event, stacking defense. He's one of the best units in the game for that event. Dokkan events, he's ridiculous. Good links. He, like, he's got everything. Like, he, I, it, it's just crazy. Like, I, I will be really sad to see this guy replaced if the five-year anniversary LR is, like, Blue Vegeta at the start, or Blue Vegito at the start. Like, uh, this guy is just crazy. It, it's so insane to me that this guy was free. Like, I, you know, again, I'm sure people probably would disagree at, uh, how highly I have him up here, but, like, I, I I do think he's that good. I think this Vegito is just that good. I, I think he is very, very exceptional. So, uh, I'm going to put Vegito at number three right there. Um, and then number two and one should be pretty obvious. Uh, next, we have SCR Blue Kaioken Goku. Now, again, I would, I, because this guy's not out on GP yet, um, I would like more time to evaluate him myself. Um, because he does have the single strongest attack in the game with his spirit bomb. His leader skill is really good with his representatives Universe 7 and Universal Survival Saga category. Leader skill, obviously, really good. Um, that representatives Universe 7 team is really starting to look nice. Because you, you know, you're gonna be able to put the AGL Blue Kaioken Goku on there, the EZA one, LR Goku and Frieza, 17, UI Goku, Evolution Blue Vegeta. You know, and then when like better versions of those characters come out, like UI Goku, Evolution Blue Vegeta, it's just gonna be insane, right? Um, he's another Universal Survival Saga leader. He's the first one that's 170% to attack, so that's relevant. Um, he has good links, really good links, if you're going to have him alongside other Tournament of Power units, like LR Goku and Frieza, for example. Tournament of Power slash over and a, uh, Tournament of Power slash over and a flash is big. Then he's also got Kamehameha, or excuse me, a Fierce Battle with them, which is really nice. So he links up very well with LR Goku and Frieza. He's on 50 teams. He's just a very strong unit. Uh, personally, I think this was a fantastic unit um, to come to Global First for Christmas. Like, I, I, he's exceptional. He's really, really good. And then number one, I think, should be pretty obvious. Um, LR Super Saiyan God Goku is brand new. Brand new summonable LRs uh, are good. That's usually the way that, that goes down, right? Um, <clears throat> now, this guy, you're, he's only truly great for seven turns from the start of turn. So this does pretty much take him out of the running for, like, a dominant unit in the Legendary Goku event. He is still good, provided you're getting him 18 key super attacks, because his defense can be really high, especially if he's on um, <clears throat> a predominantly pure Saiyan slash hybrid Saiyan uh, team. So, you know, for for high, for high Realm of Gods, you're probably not going to be able to get this unless you're really going to stack up with Saiyans, which, you know... I, Right now, you could do UI Goku as your leader. You could do AGL Zamasu as your leader. It'll be interesting to see if either the new Gogeta or Vegito will have a Realm of Gods leader or what. Um, but right now, you know, when we consider the 50% chances to crit and dodge for seven turns from the start of turn on a summonable LR, it's just, it's ridiculous. Like, that's, he is so good. He completely dominates Battlefield, Super Battle Road, Easy A. Those types of stages, this guy is just built different. He is so strong. He does have kind of a unique leader skill as well, in that he gives a buff to a category he's not on, which he's the only unit in the game that does that as of right now, right? He gives that buff to the hybrid Saiyan category, that part of his leader skill, even though he's not on there, right? To sort of uh, simulate the god ritual, which he's created with. So <clears throat> I really do think this guy is number one. Now, if we take a look at it again, <clears throat> so God Goku's one. He just came out, right, uh, in November. Then SCR Blue Kaioken Goku is here. He just came out, uh, what was it, December 8th? Let me just pull it back up just so we get the exact date here. I believe I believe it was uh, December 8th where our boy came out. Let me see. Um, it is December 9th, December 9th, excuse me. So those two units just came out. And then one and two, I, I would say almost without a shadow of a doubt, is going to be the five-year anniversary units, probably LR Vegito and LR Gogeta, right? Like it's... They were sort of soft confirmed already. So, like, the top four Realm of Gods units are all going to have come out, like, in the last three months, pretty much, very soon. So, that's that's interesting. They gave a huge buff to this Realm of Gods team. And then, like, you know, a unit who I don't even have on here at all, 
really, but I mean, I probably should have put her down there just to give her some shine, is the Supremo Pie of Time. Ridiculous support type unit, right? And then if we look at some of the units down here, Gowasu and Zumasu, I love them, but, you know, could I really say they're better than, like, those easy A's at the bottom? No. You know, Transforming Vegeta is really good. Int Goku Black is actually probably more solid than people give him credit for, but certainly not any better than any of the units on this list. Jiren just, uh, you know, he he's really a Super Battle Road killer, but outside of that, I, I just find myself not really bothering with him too often, even in, like, Dokkan Battlefield. Like, he is, you know, very strong offensively and defensively, but if the enemy can't be stunned, and if you don't even get that stun, he's not anything special. Evolution Blue Vegeta probably deserved to be on there. Like him, he's like real close to number 10. Uh, Beerus and Whis and Tech Beerus, I'd love to put them on, but eh. You know, Blue Cow can go who's great. The two Blue Vegitos, you know, you can miss me with them. You know, with LR Vegito Blue out there, I much prefer him. I don't care how much more damage the two uh, summonable Tech Vegito Blues, or well, not... Uh, I don't care how much the uh, damage the two Vegito Blues will output, right? It doesn't really bother me. Um, and then, of course, we have uh, Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black right there. Um, there's two... Well, actually, no, there's three potential easy units soon for the Realm of Gods category. So th this... Really, this list... Like, I, I have... It's good I did this now, I guess, because it's going to be completely different in, like, three weeks. Because I, I really think... Oh, I okay, so... Okay, let me point this out real quick before we finish up. I mentioned, what, three easy A's? No, 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 no. I think there's a possibility. So, you are confirmed about to easy A. You for sure are about to easy A. You were announced that you're going to get an easy A. And then I think these two could also get easy A. So, we have potentially five easy A's coming sometime soon to this. Now, this guy... I doubt he'll end up better than the new 5th year anniversary LR, but you never know. Um, with how, like, lightly they went with AGL Super Vegito, I feel like they're not going to make this guy, like, the best unit in the game, but it certainly would be cool if they did. Um, this guy, I have to imagine, is going to be easy during the 5th year anniversary. It makes no sense why they've skipped him. Um, AGL Rosé. I imagine this guy's going to get his easy A on JP first. I think uh, Global's going to get Vegito Blue since you guys voted for him. And then I think uh, JP will get Rosé. And then, I don't know. Like, I don't know if JP's going to get Rosé when Global gets Vegito Blue or what. I mean, I'm actually surprised Vegito Blue is not out yet already on Global. I thought it was going to be a super quick turnaround. Uh, unfortunately, that's not the way it ended up going down. Um, and then these two, I mean, this is just sort of like a guess. But I think these two um, could get an easy A as well um, during the 50th anniversary. Because the theme is Realm of God slash Broly movie. And, you know these guys fit both of those right so uh we'll see but obviously all of those easy a units i mean they probably all would crack this list if they all had their easy a's in particular i'm very curious to see how that in blue vegeta is going to look after his easy a i think he could become very good um but you know we'll sort of see what happens so uh let me know what you guys think yeah this is where i'm gonna finish out top 10 realm of gods units I'm probably just going to do a couple of category teams, uh, you know, maybe some of the bigger ones or some of the more exciting ones. I'm certainly not going to go down, like, every single category, but I'll probably knock a couple of these out. Um, I, I may, Maybe I'll do, like, five categories or something, like one every day until uh, the uh, anniversary live stream, right? Because, you know, I, I want to get these done. Uh, and probably uploaded before any new units come out. Because, like, you know, like, if I scheduled this for, like, the 30th, and then we get the, the breaking news info of what the LRs do, and then this list already would be outdated, right? So, <laughs> uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and we'll uh, move on maybe to Pure Saiyans next. We'll see. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.